Hello again. Yes, again. All right, camera. Explain. Uh, everything seems to be working fine now. Yeah, apparently uh, Streamlabs OBS, if you open it and you have it do nothing for, I don't know, two hours, uh, weird stuff happens. So, uh, today the plan, uh, take a break for the, from the, the big jets. I've been flying a lot of big jets lately. Oh, that's not weird. That's not weird at all. Uh, and uh, yeah, I want to go back into GA and uh, no turbo props, just pi plain piston. Then I haven't flown my it's doing it again, it's actually doing it again. I can't believe this. All right, now it's seeing it. So if I click here, it's gonna do all right, that's a new one on me. That is a new one on me. All right, so I can't click anywhere else. I'm gonna let the the music. Uh... Oh, this is so bad. This has never happened before, and now it's happening. Of course, I want to come back to streaming. It, it has to happen. Scre screen go black. Yes, screen go black. All right. Uh, so the plan. I'm gonna show the plan. As I'm doing this, it, it it does show it eventually, but I don't know if I don't know if it's a uh, an explain thing or could be explain has been on for a while. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna exit explain. I'm gonna start explain again. So quit explain. That's a nice start for a stream. There's my screen. Start explain. So yeah, I'm all hyped up to do is this flight because I've thought about a new challenge. It's kind of a twist on an old challenge that we did, uh, I don't know, a year and a half ago or something. And uh, yeah, inspired by uh, uh, Mr. John Marek, uh, Captain Porco's uh, BD-5J uh, Caribbean challenge with the old BD-5J with just the gauges and find your way around the islands and do some touch and goes. That was quite fun. But I decided to, to go the Caribbean challenge with a vengeance with a few more stops. Uh, okay, a lot more stops, like about double the number of stops and uh, fly whatever you want. And uh, yeah, let's uh, show it. I've got my uh, specter thing. Yeah, it's, uh, so it was explained. It was an explained thing. All right. So we are currently down here in uh, TG, uh, yeah, Tango Golf, Papa Yankee, Point, Point Saline. And we're going to do all these stops. There are quite a few stops. Yes. And it's basically touch and go, touch and go, touch and go all the way. 450 nautical miles. Uh, I, I put uh, 180 uh, altitude, 5,000. We're probably going to be a bit faster and go a bit lower. So it's probably going to be less than two and a half hours. Uh, and yeah, and, it's, and, and we finish with a doozy at St. Bart's. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. Uh, thankfully, I've started the, like, explain was not working because, yeah, I did start it a long time ago. And I, I re recorded uh, the entire route and my GPS and I have to, all I have to do is load it up and we're good for that. All right, get this out of the way. And I also need to uh I, i've got it also in the sim toolkit pro i don't know if the 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 overlay what the hell every time i click into Streamlabs, is oh man i swear all right so we get a black screen all right that's it's, it's gonna come back now i know it comes back cool uh all right let's uh close this plane
I was thinking of maybe doing it on the network. I'm not sure if the, I'm still going to do it on the network. I'm just, probably just going to start the plane uh, first. Uh, f first things first. I'm going to remove chocks, put in the little battery pack. It's not exactly a GPU, but, you know. And everything, uh, like, I, I don't need to play with it anymore after that. Right, turn on the batteries. Uh, Avionics Master on. My plan is still in here, that's good. Uh, altimeter. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it at 2992. Uh, I'm gonna be. It, it, it's around 2992. So maybe like 0.01 or something difference uh, 0.02 so nothing bad i'm gonna just gonna leave it there so actually no i'm not, I'm not gonna fly it on the, a network i'm just gonna fly it here uh, that's done uh, go nav lights uh, full mixture full prop uh, Clear prop! And give it a crack. There you go. Uh, I get a warning because it's so slow. I need to run it up a little bit. There you go. Voila. That is good. All right. So I put in an altitude of 3,500. Uh, speed of 210 knots. Uh, Lancer is <laughs> swift. <laughs> I love it. All right, uh, I need to turn on this thing. Oh, and what the hell? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go on the network and do all the calls and everything. I'm gonna plug this thing. Uh, let's go. Poscon login. Uh, no, just remove all that. I am November eight four four eight kilo. Right, log in. One, two, three, go. Oh, because I'm not connected to Pascal, of course. Start the client. Sorry, black screen. Everything happening. Yes, 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 I could kill all this. Thank you very much. Yes, I was watching a cyberpunk documentary. I had seen it before, but I was just cycling through stuff. After watching another interesting video, I was watching about this little thing called Starfield from Bethesda Game Studios. Not much new news, unfortunately. All right, so launcher has started. Uh, let's actually log in now. Log in. Renting an aircraft. Success, I am connected. So yes, uh, I'm semi IFR because I have a flight plan, but it's not filed and uh, I'm uncontrolled. So I'm squawking 2000. If somebody is not happy, uh, oh well. Let's make sure I've got the uh, right. That's good. Uh, the only good thing I can think of to do a test is to Go one, two, three, four, five here. Go one, two, three, four, five here. And Lance Air, Lance Air four, eight, four kilo. Eight kilo. Radio, Radio check. check. Excellent. All right, so uh, listen to one, two, one point five. And uh, I'm going to be on one, two, two point nine, five the entire way. Anyway, this is not exactly the most, uh, uh, how shall I say, uh, straightforward of flights. All right, click on Fly Now in uh, uh, 
Boss gun. It's got a whole bunch of stuff. And let's go. Fly now. Missing information required a set of flight. Please ensure aircraft selected to continue the. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, so it's going to be November 8448 kilo. Actually, it's not, it's not even a flight number. Uh, control C, delete, call sign, control V, search aircraft. Uh, did I put it in? Lance Air. All right. No SIM connection. What the heck are you talking about? All right. It's connected now. All right. It's connected. We're good to go. Uh... All right, uh, autopilot trim, uh, actually door seal, oh, before I do that, latch the thing, and then door seal. All right, uh, electric trim, turn on taxi lights right away, turn on P2E, turn off the fuel pump. And uh, yeah, let's get ready to let's get ready to taxi and get it ready to rock. Uh, before I do that, though, I'm gonna go here. Uh, it's TGPY. I need the airport. All right, so we're taking off uh, runway 10. So let's put this on 10-ish. We're gonna be in heading mode, go vertical speed and yeah, 1,000 feet per minute. For now, uh, CDI needs to be in GPS. That's very important. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, anything else? So yeah, there will be some autopilot. I'm not flying the entire thing by hand. But uh, there's going to be a lot of hand flying. That's going to be quite fun. Uh, first stop is TVSC. VSC. Canwan Jetport. And at some point, I won't even have time to see uh, the airports and stuff. We should be landing 15, I think, according to the winds. Uh, we'll see about that. So, so for now, I, I'm going to be following the little wind direction thing uh, almost religiously, and uh, we'll go from there. Range a bit more, 50, and we're good. All right, and what's the name of this place? This is Canwan. Uh, no, that's Canwan. This is St. George. St. George traffic. Good afternoon. Uh, Lancer, November 8448 Kilo. Will taxi to runway 10 for a northeast departure. Uh, St. George. All right. Well, that's done. Let's. Uh, off the brakes let's get rolling and yes the f predictions have been set awesome that's working
so muffled. Uh, for shits and giggles, I'm gonna unmuffle it. Come on, what's the fun if you don't hear all that? Yes, yes, I know. Oil pressure is freaking out. Alright. St. George traffic, Lance Air 4, 8 kilo holding short runway 10, St. George. Alright, so, strobe, landing lights, taxi lights can come off. Actually, keep them on. All the lights are going to be on the entire trip. I don't have to play with lights. That is good. Uh, flaps. 10%. That's going to be way enough. Because this plane is a sports car. It's pretty amazing. All right. San Jose traffic. Lance Air 40 Kilo resuming taxi. Back taxi runway one zero, St. George. All right, when I'm back taxiing, I'd like to like keep it like close to the side. It's what I've seen from real life uh, pilots at untowered airplane uh, airports. So I hope this is correct. If not, well, okay. This is a sim. <laughs> Come on. So the good part is the weather in the Caribbean today is absolutely beautiful. If a tad hot for my tastes. I mean, 29 degrees Celsius is, nah, not, not too fond of that. Also, for shits and giggles, I need to learn how to do a proper run-up test. Uh, I am not a pilot. I'm a sim pilot. And my goal is to have lots of fun. And this plane is lots of fun. So if somebody told me, you have an unlimited budget for a vehicle, what do you get? So do I get a Lamborghini Aventador SV or do I get this? I'd be very hard pressed. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold short at, at the run up area. San Jose traffic, Lancer four eight kilo holding short at the run run up area for various little things. St. George. Right, so the various little things is and reset. Yes. All right, flight is started. It's a race now.
It's a careful race. All right. Power set. Airspeed's alive. Positive rate. Yeah, please pull and gear up. Positive rate. What am I saying? Okay, I'm going to need some nose trim up. All right, climb it. All right, so heading was not exactly 100, but oh well. All right, I'm going to pass this little ridge and then I'm going to turn it into the into the flight plan thing in my jigger. Right about now, I'll go pretty much straight north. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna. I can even pull on the gas a little bit beautiful a bit more so I'm gonna clear it to the coast Probably not the best climb speed, but it's all right for what I'm doing. All right, now we turn it towards the nav thing. good and nav So the first leg is a bit of a breather. Uh, as you see, we got 40 nautical miles to go. Uh, some legs a bit further will be a lot closer together. So this is gonna be a lot of end flying. All right, wind is 112 at 15, so not too bad on the winds. All right, you can, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Open the things a little bit, uh, maybe, yeah, lean it a little bit. I did a mini test flight, just not, not even like the first leg, and I was pegged at 2300 and it was going super great. Now it's still going great. It's going greater than I thought. I'm gonna go into the yellow. This plane, man, this plane is amaze balls. Oh, yeah.
So most of these small islands I have not much of an idea. I'm gonna go by the GPS, uh, sometimes even use uh, good old Avitab, which unfortunately is on the wrong side. Why the Avitab is on that side when it should be here, I have no idea. So let's go maps. Uh, let's zoom out. Like so. Uh, no. It's this that I want. Thank you. All right, so first airport is done. Uh, I have a bit of time, so I'm going to put in a few of the airports I have. Notice list. Uh, so go zoom in, search. TV S Sierra Mike. There's nothing great. <laughs> it's in the game. I was able to put it, but apparently Navigraph doesn't have uh, anything. But I'm still gonna keep it here. Uh, let's go search uh, Sierra Alpha Kingston International. That should be a bigger one. Uh, 9,000 so it's a uh, 22 and 04 so I don't even know which way we're landing then it's Lima Papa Lima airport that's another 1028 Search again, Lima Papa Charlie, and I'm gonna stop it there because I'm gonna run out of room. <laughs> Airport, all right, okay, this is the one we want, uh, okay. Oh, and we're coming up on it, slowly but surely. Uh, what's the name of this place? Canwan, eh? Canwan. Runway 15, I think. Winds. Uh, yes, runway one five. All right. Canon traffic, Lancer November eight four four eight uh, uh, kilo, uh, thirty five hundred. Heading 150, uh, going for touch and go, runway 15, can one. Oh, I should have added 20 miles from the airport. I'll do the same call. So if I'm correct, the airport is on this little island right there. Because I'm flying a bit sideways. There's 
do another. Yeah, crabbing ever so slightly. Uh, I need to check on my fuel. Yeah, now would be time to, you know. Yeah, you have to switch tanks uh, manually on this thing. So it's either no, it's not here. It's there. It's somewhere there. That's actually no, no. All right. So that's an airport that's not on my list. This is right here, I think. right there oh yeah I'm cooking it I'm cooking it a little bit let's uh, close the manifold a little bit Canada One traffic, Lancer 4 8 kilo, 9 miles from the airport, uh, on a heading of 051, 3,500 uh, 3, feet, uh, going for a touch and go runway 15, Canada One. Oh, that was fucked up. But yeah, 3,500 or 3,500. I should have rounded out 3,000 feet. Let's do that. speed go down this is this the airport I believe so but no it's not there it, it is an airport but it's not the airport and somehow it's not on the GPS Unless it is and I'm mistaken. Only one way. My plane? Yeah, I think it is. Kind of on traffic, Lancer, 4 kilo turning right downwind, runway 15, kind of one. All right, so go down to about 1,005. All right, it is the airport. Kind of on traffic. Lancer 4 Kilo turning right base, runway 15, Canada 1. Uh, 
My gear. Oh boy. First of many. Go full flaps. Pop the heading bug. Oh, I should have done that before. Da -da -da. Don't touch the water, don't touch the water, do not touch the water. I may have touched the grass before. <laughs> All right, crappy landing, but we're alive. Oh, weird, funky. Alright, and go. Alright, that was an ugly, ugly start. Alright, positive rate, gear up. Nice landing in between those islands. Gotta end fly it around because I'm not in heading mode. This is really when you need like buttons and stuff. All right, give it more go juice. Should have no, actually, that's not helping at all. This, da. Ah. GA, different kind of challenge. So I have to end fly it because I was dumb and didn't set anything. So I have to end fly it to 3000. Actually, it's. Is it gonna make it? Yeah, it's gonna make it. Do not try this at home, boys and girls. Damn. All right, so one rough landing done. Next is Castries. That's a nice name. And we're landing zero nine. Castries traffic, Lancer, November eight four four eight kilo, uh, three thousand feet, heading zero point five eight ten miles from the airport, uh, southwest. Uh, we'll come in for a touch and go landing. Runway uh, zero 09, Castries. Forgotten my flaps. Yeah, this is not going to be the prettiest of things.
I am giving myself a bigger challenge and uh, all right while I'm in nav let's do a runway zero nine ish uh, what's well no let's do it correctly runway heading is zero eight nine all right so zero eight nine And the airport is right there. So, heading my plane. push these things in uh, how about you do this <coughs> bleed speed and altitude Uh, uh, that's it my eyes did not deceive me it's gonna be a fun one Cassius traffic Lancer 48 Kilo on short final runway 09, cast trees. Alright, so glide path seems to be okay. The runway seems to be short. There seems to be uh, terrain in the way. So I have to come in from the side a little bit, then plant it down. All right, gear is down, three green indicated. Let's do a better job than last time. And the takeoff is going to be Monka. All right, this airport is a bit nuts. Right, that was a uh, th that was worse. Pause the rate. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, that's that was sporty. Wow. No, actually, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing now. I can't play with my... It's going to try to go 3,000 in one shot, so... All right, so we're going to go here. I need to hold it. I need to go vertical speed. I need to go 
about like this. I need to go nav, and I need to do this. Well, oh, now I'm good. Under control. All right, next port of call. I was looking at the wrong damn thing. All right, TVSA is 14 miles, not much time for breathing. 36 degrees the other way uh, I think 36 all right yeah actually altitude put it at 2000 because Hot damn. Three thousand is too much in these parts for some VFR flying. All right, vertical speed, yeah, very slowly. There you go. And is that it? I think that's it. And what the hell is the name of that thing? Kingstown. Kingstown traffic. Lancer, November 8448 kilo. Uh, eight miles from the airport, uh, southwest of the airport. Uh, we'll proceed for a uh, touch and go on runway 03. 04, sorry. Kingstown. Man, me and calls. Yeah, I need to... No, a 10 mile range is all right, I think. So is that it? Yep, that's it. My aircraft. Push this in. Create some drag. And that's how that's how you create some drag. Kingstown traffic, lens air for a kilo, short final runway zero four, Kingstown. All right, bit high. Looking good. All 
All right, please do not dunk it onto the runway. You've been doing that lately. A bit low, but I'm a bit fast, so that's actually kind of good. I can like pull up, lose speed, and be all right. Like so. Do not land into the water. Two thirty street, that's a lot better. All right. And 80 knots. Pause the rate. Gears going up. Flaps coming out. Or going in. Alright, a bit of a breather. 36 miles. Before the next one. So I go there we go all right oh clouds sudden appearance of clouds all right so that's done. TVSA done. Uh, got a bit of a breather. Time to put in a few other ones after. Lima, Pacha Lima Papa Charlie. Right, this can go a bit less RPM. So search. My Papa Charlie is Fox Fox Fox. Need the airport. Uh, whoops, Papa Delta Papa Delta. Man, that's gonna be a hectic flight. Airport. And uh, good for now. Go on Lima Papa Lima. It's probably gonna be, gonna be another runway 10. Uh, 105. Uh, heading bug. 105, there we go. That's gonna be a busy flight. Twelve knot crosswind. Oh, oh yeah. Take a shot of that. Oh, that's a volcano. Alright. 
look at the map. So we're living in Kingstown. Oh, the, I was calling castries earlier, but I was looking at the wrong thing. All right, so if I'm, I'm going to Vieux Fort, I think. Yep, that looks like Vieux Fort. Hey, Wanora. No, it's going to be Vieux Fort. Easier for me. Can we even see it? Uh, I think it's right there. The Bionics. Vieux traffic. Lance Air, November 8448 Kilo, 20 miles south of the airport. Uh, 2000 heading 038. We'll go in for a touch and go runaway 10. Vieux Fort. So I posted this challenge in the, our GA group. Uh, some people are already up for uh, for the challenge. Some are going to do it on VATSIM. Some are going to do it on their own time. Uh, they're going to do it on different planes. Uh, one guy I spoke to was thinking about doing it on the, the SR-22, the Cirrus. Uh, I left it open, like, bring your favorite plane. So this is one of my favorites, it's kind of fast. So I didn't tell him about the timer. <laughs> but that's the whole point of a touch and go challenge, usually. I don't know what I'm going to do well on fuel. I'm doing all right. I'm about to switch tanks, but not right away. It's no big hurry. Damn, I love this plane. All right, airport is right there. Boink. Ah, this is fun. I've been missing this. Shorter flights, well, shorter, shorter flights or challenging, you know, touch and go, touch and go, touch and go. So, so far the best landing is minus 233. It was not pretty. <laughs> the first landing was sort of uh, on the grass. But okay. Close the manifold a little bit. That's yeah, so when I see it on the little thingy. It's gonna be ten miles. And 
There it is. All right, uh, this time I'm going to do my plane and the heading after that. So, my aircraft, heading, bring it down. This plane can do sporty, so. View for traffic. Lancer 40 kilo is left uh, right base, turning on final runway 10. View for. And these these flaps are kind of weird that you, you don't go by notches you have to hold them to a certain degree all right say hi to the little villagers all right 93 not bad Uh, it's going to be a bit of a deep landing, but not too bad. All right. Oh, that was ugly. Ouch! <laughs> that was ugly. All right, let's get out of here. It's good enough. Uh, uh, 80, uh, rotate. Pause the rate. Gears going up. Uh, vertical speed going up and go. Uh, hello? Real speed, you dumb shit! <laughs> Not pretty! Alright, that's better. Let's turn a little bit towards our uh, destination. If you fall traffic, sorry about the little dent I left in the runway. Last call from Lancer. See ya. Right. How's this looking on the Boscon map? I'm not ghosted or anything. That's a good thing. All right, go nav. That's done. Uh, Papa Charlie is a zero nine zero eight nine degrees. There you go. 
when I may have some terrain to contend with. What can possibly go wrong? And what's the name of this place? Castries, the, the good one. Castries traffic, Lance Air, November 8448 Kilo, 15 miles from south of the airport. We'll go in for a touch and go, runaway 09. Castries. Damn. Oh no, I did it. I clicked. Alright, there you go. Alright, I'm black screens incoming. I wanna click in here and I'm gonna click back here and then I'm gonna click back in the sim. There you go. Right, do I clear? Oh yeah, I clear. Sap house. Actually, let's not take a chance. My plane. Let's go a bit on the side here. Then go on the other side here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So if I'm not mistaken, the other airport's on the other side of this island. Of this island. Try to go. All right. Uh, what's the name of this thing? No, it is Castries. Okay. Yeah, the first one was Europa. The second one is Castries. And what the heck is this? Probably some building in the weird ortho. All right, it's right on the other side of that ridge. So, my plane. <laughs> Cassius traffic, Lancer 48 kilo is on the uh, right downwind runway 09 Castries. Man, that is a mental challenge. So I'm gonna go a bit further out. I'm gonna hold a thousand. Ish. Uh, I'm gonna need flaps. Flaps 10 for starters. Castries traffic, Lancer 48 kilo, turning right base, runway 09 Castries. All 
Alright, Cabo. This gear down. It's right there. Power up. And more flaps. Not exactly a base turn, but hey, okay. This is when I wish I had the autopilot uh, box thing from SciTech. Castries traffic, Lancer 40 kilo on short final runway 09, Castries. There. It's looking okay. If a little bit iffy. All right, come on, you can do better. If you can do minus 70 in a 767, you can do better in a damn Lancer. Do not hit the wall. Don't look at that, Pappy. Pappy is not happy at all. Oh, and if you miss it, you full stop it into this wall. That would be bad. And this tree, man, what the hell, this tree? Yeah. These are not the prettiest. This is a race. power 80 knots rotate positive rate gear the rest of the flaps all right and we have a bit of a break very small break All right, vertical speed, like so, vertical speed, boom, woo! <laughs> so we're volcano hopping, that's what we're doing, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. All right, uh, cast three is done. All right, uh, I got time to add a couple. Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Romeo. Say what? That Avita bug, bug man, bog. That bug bogs me. All right, that's gonna be a runway 12. Uh, Romeo Papa Golf. Romeo Papa Golf. Arpege. This is useless. Nothing at Romeo Papa Golf. I'm still gonna keep it there. Kilo Papa November. Kilo Papa November. Still doing this. This 
this bug, man. And these, yeah, these next ones are really tight, one next to each other. Uh, now I gotta look, 27 miles. Man, I gotta go fast. Uh, kilo, papa, kilo. Oh, this is dumb! Airport, airport info. That's gonna be a 07, most likely. All right, we're good for a bit. If this becomes too much trouble, I'm just gonna... I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. All right, uh, time to switch fuel tanks. So for those who are in our, for those who were uh, checking, I don't know if there's anybody checking, but oh well. Uh, five landings, well, five touch and touch and goes in the past hour, and many to go. We have about a third of the route done. All right, and this is. St. Kitts, Bradshaw International is going to be Bradshaw traffic, Lancer 8448 Kilo, 20 miles south of the airport, flying 2000, heading 019, going for a touch and go, runway uh, 12 I think, don't quote me on this, Bradshaw. Bradshaw traffic, touch and go runway 07, Bradshaw. Alright, I'm uh, cooking the engines a little bit. Let's uh, relax the gasket. All right, it's a zero 07. Whoa, 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 weather. Come on, man. Don't do this to me. Oscar 1195, what plane is that? This is the Aerobasque. Lancer Legacy. Thanks for the follow, man. Uh, I, I think it's about 40 bucks. Oh, I didn't change it in my uh, my Nightbot thing. Oops. And I'm quite busy. <laughs> yeah, it's the uh, Aerobasque Lancer Legacy RG. I'm going to try to find it real quick. Store. Explain. Uh, da -da -da -da, General Aviation, Aerobasque, as I'm coming up on my thing, Legacy, it's $34.95, I'm going to link it to you, boom, there you go, oops, yeah, uh, my OBS has been doing weird shit. Bracha traffic, Lancer 40 kilo, 10 miles from the uh, south of the airport uh, for touch and go, runway 07, Bracha. All right. Yeah, and why so cloudy suddenly? 
No problem, sir. This is a very fun plane to fly. And I'm doing this crazy challenge that I, I put in one of the uh, group I follow on Facebook. And it's quite a challenge. This will definitely go down in one of my uh, spicier flights. Yes, it is. It's really fast. Yep. Well, fast for a, for a piston plane. <laughs> for a piston plane, it's really fast. Yeah, it's no liner, man. All right, coming up on the airport. Can I even see it? Oh, I'm gonna have to mark one eyeball it. So, actually, I'm gonna go heading my aircraft. Sort of this way, how many hours could it fly for? Uh, pretty long. Like, I'd say a good three hours, easy. Bradshaw traffic, uh, uh, Lancer 48 Kilo reporting midfield, turning right downwind, runway 07, Bradshaw. Hey, Mr. Pedro! Yes, as always, you come in on one of my crazier flights. Another challenge I gave uh, to my uh, GA people on the, on the Facebooks. All right. About a thousand, still slow it down. Bradshaw traffic, Lancer 40 Kilo turning right base, runway 07. Bradshaw. All right, gear down, flappers. Where is it? There it is. Yes, how about... Uh, how about putting some juice on it? Pappy's there. The runway is on the right of the Pappy. Okay. Yeah, and the weather changed like not too long ago. It was super nice. And uh, yeah, no, note to the real pilots in the crowd, uh, don't take this too seriously. This is a crazy Facebook challenge. So, <laughs> realism? Nope. <laughs> It's 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 explains idea of a of a speed run. I'm still trying to do okay landings. So far they have not been so okay. Oh yeah, I'm a bit fast. Uh 
and a bit low but it's gonna be all right I'm gonna save it as I usually do that was 10 zero All right, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Not, uh, yeah, okay, no, a bit rougher than I thought, but oh well. Okay, power up. Let's get her back up in the air. And 80 knots, rotate. Positive rate gear. And this is where I wish I had free hand and buttons I could actually press. But okay, I'm gonna climb it uh, by hand. Next victim is uh, 60 miles. Oh, I break. Yeah, I'm gonna put the heading bug like right on the, just a bit left on the, yeah, that's it. Not sure if 2000 is gonna be enough, but. Go autopilot, 800, boom, and go nav. All right. We'll probably have to adjust to the... adjust the, the the altitude we'll see but a bit of a breather I'll take it but it's, it's weird the chart the chart did say runway zero seven I was oh man I was not looking at the right thing I was looking at this Oh. <laughs> oh. I think I'm gonna stop making calls and just just land it. I failed that part. But man, that was a. Uh, that was a lot. That was a, a six, six landings in an hour, in just over an hour. So, and there's many more to come. Uh, flight plan. Yeah, we are now not out of the woods yet. I don't have to see my phone. My uh, significant other asking me about uh, the dreaded COVID-19 shot, which I will be receiving tonight. I will be part of the gang. That sweet 5G, yo. Do we clear or do we crash? Let's find out right away. Ha, ha, ha. 
Mm-hmm. All right, so the the challenge of looking at all those charts, man, is that if I leave it on the the last one, like right here, it's showing the last one. The and this is what I'm sh- I should be looking at. Roso. Roso traffic zero nine. That's an zero eight five. So zero. Eight five. Oh, wait. Man, come on. No wonder it's going slow. Yay, weather. All right, and that's a zero seven, uh, zero nine. That's the right, the right one. Yes. Hosel traffic, Lancer, November eight four four eight kilo. 41 miles south of the airport, uh, flying 2000, heading 002. Uh, we'll go in for a touch and go runway 09, Roseau. So this is uh, this is one of the rare breaks I get in this flight. Which tank are we on? On the right. All right, cool. Oh yeah, while well, I'm here, I'm gonna go to Nightbot. And uh, commands, custom, Galmasius, Sierra Bo, custom, exclamation mark, plain, uh, Lancer Legacy RG by Aero Basque, and there you go. Submit and uh, what happened to my exclamation mark root? So much for my exclamation mark root. Oh, I think I killed it a while ago. I said, Oh, too, like, too bad. Especially now, the root is not exactly conventional. Call it that. Okay. Thank you, Active Sky. Right. 
let's uh, reduce the range or go up on the range yeah, it's still uh, still a bit off What's my views again? Oh yeah, that's the canopy latch thing. This is for this. What? <laughs> What's this view again? What? Okay, I need to fix more views. All right, this island has some uh, serious uh, volcanic activity. Where the heck is that? Uh, center on me, please. And zoom the F out. Roso, that's the name of the island. And where's the... Uh No clue. No idea. Yeah, I'm doing it all on 122.95 because, yeah. If I had to switch frequencies at the same time, man, I'd go nuts. If I had an actual stack where I could change frequencies, then cool. But I don't, so I don't. So I'm gonna put it out there in the universe. If anybody wants to buy me uh, SciTech panels uh, for uh, autopilot and radio, please. Donations button right there. Yeah, not gonna happen, I know. Alright, so it's at the other end of this, and it's a good thing the flight path takes me along the oops, along the coast instead of over all that through the clouds. That would suck. Because this thing has no icing bebels. It is quite balmy down here. I mean, we are in the Caribbean. It's a bit more rocky up, up here. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about that coast, so I think I'm gonna go. Not much choice but to go heading mode. Sort of like this. Let's evade all this crap. So as opposed to many other simmers out there, I haven't done any ortho work. This is all default with a little help from uh, Short Final Design Global. It does help a little bit. All 
All right, I'm gonna have to get back on track a little bit. Because if I look there, this was certain death. All right, so it's going to be right on the other side of these illy mountain things. And actually, I'm going to end fly it from here. I'm going to put on full mixture, full RPM, my aircraft. Let's turn here. Let's do a sporty Reno type. Lots of G's. All right, I'm gonna fly through there. Thread that needle. Yeah, I'm gonna stop doing calls. I mean, uh, at this point, my calls have been bad. I've been too many. It's a bit too spicy of a challenge. And I don't even know where here is. It's Roseau, yeah. It is Roseau, right? Man. Roseau, Domenica. Thank you very much. All right. And it's bumpy as hell here. All right, so. Flaps. Gear. Do not do this at home, boys and girls. Sink, let it sink, let it sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. All right, cool. We got this. I'm supposed to aim for a threshold. That was not pretty. All right, seventy, eighty, rotate, gear up. All right, next airport. 40 odd miles. Ah, man, that was a spicy one. All right, this is where I wish I had those things. Virgo speed bug. 10, go. Oh, you dumb shit. And. 
and nav so those side tech things would be very very helpful here Right, coming up on an hour 30. All right, Roseau's done. Get rid of it. I do have time for to add a couple. Oh. So Okay, uh, so November Charlie Echo, and that. November Charlie Mike, ye old Juliana. Nope, 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 back airport airport info and stuff uh, QPF airport Man, I got so many tabs in my heavy tab. Go here. All right. All right, that's a big one. Point à pitre. Le what? Le reset. I'm going to call it reset traffic. So 12, so 120 on the thing, ish. All right. 35, I want to see the GPS. And the uh, switch tanks. Yeah, so that challenge is a bigger one than I expected, but it, yeah, it's fun. What time is it? Three o'clock here. Like, Sky Vector gave me at 180 knots average without stopping two hours and a half two hours 27 to be exact sorry everything went dark again it's gonna go dark Yeah, I really don't get why when I click on something else, my, com my computer decides, ah, oh, no, uh, I used to be able to click, no problem. Now I just don't wanna. Go figure.
<laughs> Damn, I love this thing. Alright, when I come up on 20, I'm gonna call. Should have already called, probably, or... It's probably a mess of calls when you're, the airports are super close like that. But oh well. Try to... I am at full RPM, too. Gaza traffic, Lancer, November 8448 Kilo, 20 miles south of the airport. We'll go for touch and go runaway 1 2, Gaza. Alright, that's going to be a cool shot. Mid-challenge screenshot. All right, 14, 13. Oh yeah, I remember this airport in the BD5 challenge. It screwed me up so bad. But that was the BD-5 before it had the, the modern EFIS. It was only gauges, no GPS. So it was uh, find a map, uh, find uh, something that can track your flight. Like having Avitab was a big plus. And yeah prey to various dark entities. There's a traffic, uh, Lancer, 48 Kilo, 9 miles from uh, south of the airport. Uh, runaway 1, 2, touch and go. There's a Uh, I think that's it right over the nose. Or is it? Yeah, I remember this place messed me up something bad. But it's supposed to be off my nose. I mean, I'm going directly to it. So it's supposed to be somewhere. You know? Somewhere. And I'm landing. It's 
An active sky is uh, being uh, weird. Really? Really, active sky? Fracking, really. There's the field. So let's take it. There's a the traffic. Lens air, 48 kilo, turning on the right downwind, runway 12, reset. Right, so let's head this way. Let's sort of kill it. And go all the way to the beach. Ten percent. Gear down. More flaps. Is it traffic? Lancer for a kilo turning right base runaway one two. Is it? Well, apparently when I said uh, I'm not going to do the calls anymore, well, I lied. Oh, shit. Because the traffic, we're still high on the glide slope. We're still going to do the touch and go, maybe a bit deeper. Is it? Do not do this at home, boys and girls. All right. All right. Second to last marker. There you go. And 80 knots rotate. Pause rate, gear up, flaps all the way in. There you go, all right. All right, vertical speed. No ST de cave de Chris. Fuck off. Autopilot on. All right, reset, done. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Uh, RPG, nothing. So we don't have to do anything. So this is not for the next one. RPG, I have no clue. We'll overfly it and then we'll see. A bit less revs.
So once again, this airport threw me on a loop. I'm still on standby, what the heck? I did the entire thing on standby, oh well. Nobody mentioned anything. <laughs> Alright, so 43 miles. Oh yeah, I've got time to add the last couple. What the heck? I really hate it when my mouse hits my keyboard and like it's a button. There's a, there's buttons on the side here and it hits the buttons and how to die without really trying. All right, my last is uh, TQPF. So let's add it. Foxtrot, Foxtrot Golf. And finally, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Juliet. All right. And it's going to be the dreaded runway 10 landing. Oh, crap. This is going to be fun. All right. All right, so I don't remember RPG. What's the name? Just, just have the name. Montserrat. Okay, Montserrat. It's Volcano Land. It's getting dark here. Like here, uh, not in the sim, in real life. It's been a great day today. Super cold. You know, typical end of April, you know, you're expecting it to be super nice, and it's not. It's always flying a bit crooked. It's always done that. Probably because this piston engine has some massive torque and it's trying to twist the plane. <laughs> yeah, the Lancers are pretty ridiculous planes. Like, just the piston ones. Lancer Evos must be just crazy. So yeah, what a trip has it been. And I think from RPG, there's gonna be a few really close ones. Yeah, 33 and then 9, 18, another 33 and then the sh these are super short. So yeah, catching a bit of a breather now. All right, sorry, my screen's going to go black a little bit. I just want to see where the heck I am. And also, I want to see the 
end part. This was Reze. All right, so. All right. Yeah, Q and H is uh, pretty much cl pretty close to standard, so I'll leave that standard and no no harm done. Click here, click here. Why it's doing that? The mysteries of Explain and Streamlabs OBS. All right, coming up on 20 to Montserrat. Deep, deep in the volcano land. Might as well call it. Uh, southeast. Monserrat traffic, uh, Lancer 8448 Kilo is uh, 20 miles southeast of the airport, uh, 2000 uh, heading 327 Monserrat. That's uh, my uh, my uh, wife, girlfriend type girl is uh, has problems believing I could get my appointment today for today. Well, I've been trying since they announced it for the 45 plus in my area, and no luck since last Wednesday. And uh, earlier, just before the stream, I got it. All right, where in Blazes is going to be that airport? Last time I did this challenge, I made sure I had, like, almost perfect weather with a couple of tufts of cloud just to make it pretty. This is real weather. I don't even know, I don't even see it, uh, RPG, runway 10, 28, <gasps> and it's super small, great, awesome, what can possibly go wrong? Okay, so I have to overfly, come back. And yeah. So we're going to land uh, the opposite of So 
so it's 10. Mozzarella traffic, Lancer 40 Kilo, 5 miles from the airport, uh, touch and go, runway 10, Mozzarella. All right. This is uh, interesting to say the least. Let's uh, do this. My aircraft. So 10 will be about like so. All right, let's just pass this little ridge before I go. Uh... Gear down. It's right there, it's dinky. Mosera traffic, Lancer 40 Kilo, uh, right downwind, runway 10. Mosera. Man. I go a bit further out, but stay up. Stay up at 1100. Pass it, pass it, pass it. Apply some power. Don't want to be pulling on the stick that hard. Mosera traffic, Lancer 40 Kilo, turning right base and short final runway 10, Mosera. And turn, baby! Come on, nice and easy. Nice and easy. That was one of my better approaches. Bid high. Man, this is gonna be a super short runway. So in the words of RuPaul Charles, don't fuck it up. All right. All right. Aim for the piano bars. Sing me a song. You're the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. And we're all in the mood for a melody. You can spin it all right. And pull up. Gear. Flaps. Gah. Wow. Now that would be a clip, if you know. All right, we're clear of that. This, this. Man, 
that was Hey, I hope I got time to finish the entire thing because I know I have to be in my truck at, uh, say, 5.30 and be in this little town called Granby by 6.15 because that's when I get my appointment for uh, the shot. All right, Montserrat done that was nuts that was absolutely bonkers next up Charlestown also a 10 runaway Yeah, how about I, uh, you know, calm the RPMs a little bit. Whew. Goodbye, volcano. Let's go for more volcanoes. So yeah, my landings are not pretty. And I still let me remove let me remove some of the unwanted stuff. So I have only the charts. going to help a little bit. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to go. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that was 15 airports. Or 16 if you count the start. Yeah, this challenge is uh, Monka S. Yes. All right, what's the name of this place? Charlestown. Charlestown. Charlestown traffic. Lance Air, November 8448 kilo. Uh, 21 miles southeast of the airport. We'll go in for a runway 10 touch and go. Charlestown. And we're at two hours. And I know the few other runways are going to be in very quick succession. I may even not care about the winds. This is a, another one zero. That's so nuts, man.
All right, I did start my stream a bit on the late side. I will have to cut it. that beep for whoa what the hell ah oh, dumbass yeah I'm gonna have to park it in the next airport Ah, sorry, I'm looking at stuff in the middle. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to do another one, another uh, attempt. Same, same thing, same flight. Probably gonna do it a bit differently. We'll only do it online if there are people. If not, I'm just gonna go for it. It is kind of fun to have the challenge, but uh, it, it does make it super spicy. All right, if I'm correct, airport is somewhere here. All right, let's stay in manually. My aircraft. Charleston traffic, Lancer 48 kilo, uh, turning right downwind for a full stop landing runway 10, Charleston. Yep, this is going to be a full stop. Gonna have to uh, call it. In the name of my vaccine. Right, so I'm just passing the airport, apparently. So let's get over the Caribbean. Slow her down a little bit. Gear down. Charleston traffic, Lancer 48 kilo turning right base and final runaway 10. Full stop, Charlestown. Man, I was going great. I did cover over the. over half of the flight. Oh, I'm quite high. Let her sink a lot. Let's uh, push in these things. Sorry. Cute little airport. All 
Alright, come on, uh, you're a bit left. It's, it's a bit rocky. Add some power. Don't go on the beach, don't go on the beach, don't go on the beach. It's been going good so far. Except for that very first landing where I went straight, direct grass. All right, all right, all right, all right. And that was not great. All right, full stop here. I have no choice. Uh, I got to go prepare for, you know, the vax. Chasse on traffic, Lance Air 40 kilos, clear of the runway and parking at the FBO. Last call and see ya. Thanks for the cookies. All right. All right, so that was not the entire challenge. Unfortunately, I started my stream a tad too late. All right, pull that thing. There you go. All right, uh, landing lights, strobes, taxis. And, uh, and yeah. Uh, there are six more to go <laughs> but uh yeah i'm running out of time i'm sorry uh, i'm gonna have to redo it with a lot more time it's a lot of fun it's a man it's quite the challenge though but uh yeah it's been great uh i'm gonna do it again for sure i mean uh, this plane is so much fun to fly The, there you go. It's, uh, that's uh, done. So let's just uh, pull it. And we're done. Avion X Master can come off. Everything off. Seal is done. Batteries. And thank you very much. Good night. Hello. I know. It's latched. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Charlestown, uh, somewhere in the Caribbean. As you see in the uh, overlay bar, uh, I still have a bit to go. But that was a lot, a lot, a lot of landings. I didn't realize how crazy my uh, challenge was. And uh, I'm out of time. I need to get off the computer, uh, get uh, ready for my shot. So, guys, uh, I will do this again. Uh, I will recycle. Uh, maybe from the do it from the other end so it's different. But, uh, yeah, that was a good piece of flying. So, there you go. So, as always, you weren't uh, very uh, numerous. I know I started late. I wasn't planning. But, uh, yeah, and I'm having problems. If I click on one side, it goes dark. And I don't I really don't get what's happening. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, this has been great. This has been great fun. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.